Heath Ledger's performance as the Joker in The Dark Knight is widely regarded as one of the most iconic in film history. Tragically, he passed away on January 22, 2008, at the age of 28. The movie hit theaters six months later. It's always a bittersweet moment when we watch a film featuring an actor who has passed away before its release. One of the most poignant examples is Philip Seymour Hoffman. Known for his incredible range and depth, Hoffman's untimely death in 2014 left fans heartbroken. His final performance can be seen in The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2, where he brought his unique talent to the role of Plutarch Heavensby. When we think about the lives of our favorite actors, it's hard not to feel a pang of sadness when we realize some of them didn't get to see their final performances. One such heartbreaking story is that of Paul Walker, who tragically died in a car accident in 2013. Just as excitement was building for the release of Furious 7, his untimely death left fans and colleagues alike reeling. James Dean, a cultural icon whose life was cut short in a car accident at the age of 24. Despite his brief career, Dean left an indelible mark on Hollywood with performances in classics such as Rebel Without a Cause and East of Eden. His final film, Giant, was released posthumously in 1956 and showcased his incredible talent alongside legends like Elizabeth Taylor and Rock Hudson. Anton Yelchin, a gifted young actor whose career was tragically cut short. Best known for his role as Chekhov in the Star Trek reboot series, Yelchin had a unique charm and depth that made him stand out in every role he played. In June 2016, just days before the release of Star Trek Beyond, Anton's life was taken in a freak accident at the age of 27. Ah, uh, the one and only Robin Williams. Known for his incredible range, from gut-busting comedies to deeply moving dramas, Williams left an indelible mark on Hollywood and the hearts of fans worldwide. His last film, Boulevard, was released posthumously in 2014, and it highlighted his remarkable ability to portray complex characters with depth and authenticity. His absence is felt keenly, reminding us that behind every great performance lies a human story one that can often be overshadowed by fame. John Ritter, the beloved comedian and actor known for his roles in Three's Company and countless films. Tragically, Ritter passed away unexpectedly in 2003, just weeks before the premiere of Bad Santa, where he played a memorable role as a department store manager. Marlon Brando, one of the most iconic actors in film history, left an indelible mark on the industry with his powerful performances and unique approach to acting. However, sadly, he did not live to see the release of his final film, The Score. Released in 2001, this crime drama featured Brando alongside notable talents like Robert De Niro and Edward Norton. James Gandolfini, Renowned for his iconic role as Tony Soprano in HBO's groundbreaking series, The Sopranos, Gandolfini passed away unexpectedly in June 2013, just a few months before the premiere of his last film, The Drop, which was released in September of that year. Natalie Wood, a beloved actress whose career spanned several decades and included iconic roles in classics such as West Side Story, and rebel without a cause. Wood's last film, Brainstorm, was completed shortly before her untimely and mysterious drowning in 1981. Bruce Lee. His impact on martial arts and cinema is immeasurable, yet his life was tragically cut short before he could see the release of his final film, Game of Death. Lee's untimely death in 1973 left fans heartbroken and wondering what could have been. Brandon Lee, the son of martial arts legend Bruce Lee. Tragically, Brandon's life was cut short in 1993 during the filming of The Crow. An on-set accident involving a prop gun resulted in his untimely death, leaving fans and colleagues devastated. The Crow was released posthumously in 1994 and became a cult classic.
John Candy, a beloved comedian and actor known for his larger-than-life personality and memorable performances in films such as Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, and Uncle Buck. Candy passed away unexpectedly in March 1994, just before the release of his final film, Wagons East. River Phoenix, a gifted actor whose life was cut short at the age of 23. Known for his roles in films like Stand By Me and My Own Private Idaho, Phoenix was on a trajectory toward becoming one of Hollywood's most respected stars. In 1993, while working on the film Dark Blood, River Phoenix passed away from a drug overdose outside the Viper Room in Los Angeles. Whitney Houston, a legendary singer and actress whose impact on the entertainment industry remains profound. Houston's last film role was in Sparkle, a musical drama released in 2012, which was a remake of the 1976 film of the same name. Despite her immense talent and success, Houston tragically drowned in a hotel room bathtub just months before Sparkle premiered. Carrie Fisher, best known for her iconic role as Princess Leia in the Star Wars franchise. Fisher passed away in December 2016, just days after suffering a heart attack on a flight. Her final appearance as Leia was posthumously featured in Star Wars The Last Jedi, which was released shortly after her death, and the film was dedicated to her memory. Luke Perry, best known for his iconic role as Dylan McKay on the television series Beverly Hills 90210, and a notable role in Riverdale as Fred Andrews. Perry's sudden passing in March 2019 came just before the release of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, directed by Quentin Tarantino. His sudden death at the age of 52 due to a massive stroke shocked fans and colleagues alike. Oliver Reed. Known for his intense performances and larger-than-life persona, Reed's final film, Gladiator, directed by Ridley Scott and starring Russell Crowe, was released posthumously in 2000 following his untimely death from a heart attack while drinking at a bar in May of that year. In Gladiator, he portrayed the character Proximo, a role that showcased his ability to blend charisma with a gritty edge. Despite not living to see its success, Gladiator went on to win multiple Academy Awards and became a modern classic. Bill Paxton, one of the most respected and beloved actors of his time. From the intense action of Aliens to the thrilling chases in Twister and the epic drama of Titanic, Paxton's performances were always memorable. His untimely death due to complications from heart surgery in February 2017 was a significant loss to the entertainment world. Paxton's last completed film was The Circle, released in 2017, shortly after his untimely death, featuring him alongside Tom Hanks and Emma Watson. Brittany Murphy, a vibrant actress known for her roles in films like Clueless and Eight Mile, Murphy's untimely death in 2009 at the age of 32, under mysterious circumstances, shocked fans and colleagues alike. At the time of her passing, she was working on several projects, including the animated film Happy Feet 2, which was released posthumously. Bernie Mac, whose larger-than-life personality and comedic genius left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Known for his standout roles in The Bernie Mac Show and Ocean's Eleven, Mac's unique ability to blend humor with heartfelt moments made him a fan favorite. Tragically, Bernie Mac passed away in 2008 due to complications from pneumonia, shortly before his last film, Soul Men, was released. In this movie, he starred alongside fellow acting heavyweight Samuel L. Jackson. Phil Hartman, a beloved comedian and actor, sadly did not live to see the release of his final film. Known for his versatile performances on Saturday Night Live and his memorable roles in television shows like News Radio, Hartman's career was tragically cut short in 1998 when he was murdered by his wife. His last completed film project, Small Soldiers, was released posthumously in 1998.